Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. I don't understand. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shabir and this is The Library Report, a series where we talk to people, explore new technologies and exciting events within and beyond our libraries. In this special episode, we're delving into generative AI to find out the impact of recent developments in our everyday lives. To do that, we'll be challenging three pairs of ordinary Singaporeans from different walks of life to find out what they feel and understand about AI and challenge them to use AI to complete a few simple tasks. Hello, my name is Zoe, and this is my grandfather. Hi, I'm Shamin, and I'm 18 this year. Hi, I'm Zach, and I'm 12 this year. Hi, I'm Dilip. Hi, I'm Ling, and we are Friends, Friends from, from work. work. The first question is, what is AI to you? AI means artificial intelligence. Basically, anything that is um, smart, that is not human <laughs> created, okay. I think. Uh, it's about convenience to me, I think, and it's like training a robot to be able to make decisions that a human usually has to make. What do you understand about generative AI? I really don't understand much about it. I think what I hear about generative AI um, is mainly related to ChatGPT, okay. which has taken the world by storm. The AI using some a picture or a description to be to be able to create something new out of what is provided. You type in something and then after it generates something like an image. Just like them, I too have wondered what is AI? The capabilities of generative AI have burst into our collective consciousness in such a short period of time, opening up so many possibilities, it is easy to be overwhelmed. Joining me today is Siu Min, who will be giving us more insights about AI technology. Hi, Suman. Hi. Thank you very much for joining us. So, tell us what is AI? You know, what does it do, and what is generative AI all about? Mm. So, AI or artificial intelligence is like the brain power of computers or machines. It's a form of technology where machines have the ability to learn, think, and perform tasks that normally require human intelligence. So, you can think of AI as a way to design machines that can imitate human intelligence. Um, it's used all over the place, from recommending your next favourite song on Spotify to Google predicting what you're going to search even before you finish typing. So, generative AI is a special kind of AI. Imagine a creative artist, but it's a computer. So, that's generative AI. Um, it learns from lots of examples, like reading tons of books or looking at loads of pictures. Then, it can create new stuff all on its own like writing stories, drawing pictures, or even composing music. Let's spot the difference between AI or real image. Let's do this. Okay, so you can see anything weird or anything artificial or... This one has legs. Is what? It has legs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The swan has got legs. Uh, yeah, the person is like merged in with the rocks and I don't think that's possible in real life. I don't even know what this is. Something's having tea. Is that an otter? It looks like an otter. No, why can't an otter have tea? And I don't know, I think it's eating something. Is it cheese? It looks like cheese. The dolphins, look, why would there be dolphins in like this kind of pool or like body of water? And then there's something in the corner that I don't really know what it is. Is that snow or fungus? I can't tell. It looks like fungus. <laughs> so, yes. So, AI. Yes, AI. AI. I'm guessing that it's fake because it looks very fake to me. It looks AI. Yes, I think so. Can you share with us some telltale signs on how to identify AI generated artwork? So, you know how sometimes when you draw something and it looks a little funny? Well, AI does that sometimes when creating images. It might make hands too big or put too many fingers on them or distort facial features. So, these are some signs that we can spot. 
Use ChatGPT to write a joke that my grandfather will enjoy. Use ChatGPT to plan a company-wide end-of-year party. <laughs> okay, first question is, how much money do we have? I'm just going to type in, give me a joke. Okay, let, let's, let's just start mm. from something simple. Okay. Okay, so let's just put, um, yeah. uh, propose a company end-of-year party, and we'll see what comes out, and then we'll refine it like from there. More, is it? Yes. Propose, propose a, a plan. Yeah, sure. Plan. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Enchanted winter winterland. <laughs> <laughs> a rented ballroom at a local upscale hotel. Cocktail hour, that would be fun. Simple. Okay, so I think the a next DJ. refinement is plan a company-wide end-of-year party program with $100. <laughs> Budget of only hundred dollars. You need to scale down. Yes, absolutely. That's right. Casual office potluck party. That's all it got for me. That's all it got for me. A potluck where I brew like some chai and, and I come there. That's all. No, we should we should have like games. Okay, add games. Let's add some games to it. They're budget friendly games. Holiday trivia. A gift wrapping. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I mean, these look like good options. Good job, uh, okay. GPT. Mm. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. I don't understand. <laughs> what are some tips you might have towards prompt creation? Well, let me share three tips to make your prompt creation better. So first, imagine the outcome. For example, if you want to write a story, how do you imagine it to be? What kind of story is it? A horror story, a romantic comedy, how long a shot do you want it to be? So next, be specific in your prompts. Think of it as giving AI clear clues and instructions so that it understands what you're looking for. If you are too vague, AI might give you things that you don't actually want. And my final tip would be to provide context and background on your intent. So why are you writing this story? Is it meant to be launched at a children's book festival or to be shared at a professional work event. So providing some context can help AI understand your goals better and respond more accurately. Try using ChatGPT to come up with a simple DIY five-minute project. To create a thank you gift for a loved one where we got craft. I think we can try making a message in a bottle. Like flowers? For a loved one, flowers always work. Okay instructions to make a message in a bottle. Instructions to create an art and craft flower that is uh, <laughs> worthy of my mother. Okay, materials you need. A clear glass. Okay, we have that. Paper for your message. I guess we can use this. Do you want to write the message? What message should we write? Cut the cardstock into flower shapes. What the flower If I shape? knew how to do that, I wouldn't ask ChatGPT. Tell ChatGPT, yes. if I knew how to do that, I wouldn't ask you. Can ChatGPT handle sarcasm? Ah, oh, it apologizes. Oh. It has EQ, ChatGPT. Huh? Well done. Roll and insert the message. Okay, I think we need to cut it first. Okay. Create the center of the rose. Take one end of one inch wide strip. Begin by coiling this end. So here's the glue. Okay, now we've got this. What's the next step? Oh, you also can. Okay. Seal the bottle. Cut the length of ribbon that is long enough, okay. Okay. Yay! Uh, this is what we made in five minutes. Okay, so could you cut some leaf? Okay. That doesn't look bad at all. Hmm. Worthy of our moms. How do you feel about AI now that you've tried it? I think that's cool that it seems to learn and then basically understand us like mm. after a while, right? Yes, yeah. we did have to give yeah. it a few prompts, a few questions here and there, but it learned really fast. It did. Yeah, no? 
I sort of understand what AI can offer now, as in like, it gives the larger picture, but it's not really good on the details. In my era, we don't have such thing, but now it's so fantastic. The AI can actually do a lot of things better than what we are unable to do. What do you think you will use AI technology for after today? I think that we, like I could use it if like I want to do something, like I want to draw, but I don't know what I want to draw. I can just ask the AI. Definitely, I think the most useful thing for me would be the, the photo generator. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be able to come up with these things on myself. Right. I think that I will use it like summaries of things that my teachers are asking me to do on the internet. So you use AI to do your homework? Yes. Okay. In your opinion, how is AI changing the world as we know it? So firstly, it's simplifying our daily lives. Think of voice assistants like Siri or Alexa. They essentially use AI to help us with tasks, control our smart homes or even suggest recipes. But AI's impact goes beyond our homes. It's revolutionising industries. For example, in healthcare, AI is helping to diagnose diseases. And in traffic management, it's predicting and reducing congestion. How important is it for Singaporeans to be digitally ready? So being comfortable with technology is like having a key to the whole world. From getting connected with friends to ordering food, so much happens online today. So technology can really open up new experiences and possibilities that make our lives more enriching and convenient. Especially in today's changing world, it is also important that we future-proof ourselves, as more jobs require the use of digital technologies. Having related skills and knowledge can open up new and exciting opportunities. So at the end of the day, it's about having confidence and feeling comfortable in using technology uh, in ways that can make our lives better. What Suman said has got me thinking. While AI technology holds incredible promise for innovation and efficiency, it's crucial to strike a balance as we embrace the future of AI responsibly. To find out more, you can head over to the Digital for Life Festival 2023. Visit the link below for more information. Thank you for watching this episode of The Library Report. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to know when we upload a video next time. Until then, see you.